I am Aldo Gazzo, and I uh, want to recommend that you get this book. It's called Die If You Must, which is a translation of what Marechal Rondon, which was a Brazilian army marshal, uh, he said, um, he had this phrase, Matar nunca, morrer se preciso for, which John Hammond translated as Die If You Must to refer how uh, Brazilians should treat indigenous people. So never kill them and uh, die if you, they had to. Why? Because they were, um, they were going inland into Brazil. They were clearing uh, trails to, to build telegram lines and uh, building dams to produce electricity and um, clearing land for pasture, for cattle growing. And, um, and as late as today, uh, actually present day Brazil, there are indigenous people, still uncontacted, isolated peoples. And um, so back, this book talks about the 20th century. So 1901 to 2001, 2000. Um, it talks about the indigenous groups that were that were met, uh, contacted during those times, and how uh, there would they would be killed by diseases, uh, they would be killed by uh, struggles for land, and uh, it talks about like political politics of demarcating indigenous lands. It talks about everything regarding indigenous people, the, the Amazon, and how they impacted the world, and how they've been impacted by uh, technologies that, uh, that got there. So it's, um, it's an incredible book, and I had the, the pleasure of buying this book from, from Joaquim Rodrigues de Melo, and uh, he used to work for the SPI, which he was the before FUNAI, which was the Research Protection of Angel. And um, the author, John Hemmings, uh, <laughs> signed the book for him. So, and I bought it in Manaus, and then I was navigating uh, the, the, the Amazon River and reading this. So, it, and I made uh, lots of notes, um, uh, some, and I highlighted uh, important things, color-coded, you know, for your, uh, for your convenience and uh, make some notes and annotations. So I think you appreciate to read this version, which is my annotated version. And um, so it was beautiful to, to read this while navigating the river and seeing trees being cut and seeing uh, dragas and, uh, and, and navigating the Amazon and, and seeing the, the sunrises and the sunsets from, from the boat and going to Flona, Floresta Nacional Tapajós, uh, Terra do Chão, Santarém, Belém. It was, uh, I felt like I was living history. So, uh, was, uh, and there are pictures, you know, color pictures, and uh, that's me. So this is a picture of my family showering and, and they're bathing in the river. So uh, yeah, it was, it was very, it was a very powerful read and I highly recommend and uh, by getting this you help me continue traveling and building cultural stories around the world. Aho. So yeah, thank you. Get this book. I, I put the link on that. Right. Cheers. Ciao.